okay today we are going to talk about macros as trigger in my Microsoft Access database okay so trigger basically is something uh, which causes based on a event another event okay one event takes place and then another event happens due to that that the second event is happening due to the trigger okay trigger is a program kind of thing which enables some other action to take place based on previous action that has been taken place so in Microsoft Access, it's not called as trigger, but it's called as data macros. So that's why we are going to see in the MS Access database. But in other databases like SQL, RDBMS databases like MySQL or Oracle, SQL Server, it's called as trigger. But in Microsoft Access, it's called as macro. Okay. So we'll uh, discuss about two macros and we'll see them through example, okay, how to create it. So first one is after insert trigger macro. Uh, the question here is create a data macro associated with the after insert event okay so the question is after insert event for the reservation table to increment the previous trip field for the appropriate customer so what it's saying what it's saying is we have a reservation table and we have a customer table okay he's saying that uh, both of these tables have a common column called as customer number okay so reservation table is having the reservation details and customer table is having the customer details okay so in customer table customer num is primary key in reservation table the customer num is a foreign key okay so what it's saying is for any new record inserted in reservation table go to the customer table and increase the value of previous strip okay that's what it's saying increase the value of previous strip field for the appropriate customer when inserting a row in reservation table so that's what it's saying so we have to write a trigger that will do this so let's open our access let's see our data again previous trip column is here in the customer table and we have the customer num as the first column okay so 101 102 these are the customer number and previous trip values you can see so we have to go to the reservation table and what he is saying is when we insert a row say for example let's insert a row let's take a note of what we have right now okay. so the value of the previous trip column For uh, first one is eight, okay. It's eight here. You can see that. And the customer number is 101. Okay. Let's go to reservation table and let's try to add one more record for 101. Okay. So you see, we already have a trigger written. Reservation table has a trigger after insert and after delete. So the after insert is supposed to do what we are going to right now but it's already there so i'll do a demo first how it works and then i'll show you how to write it okay so let's uh, insert one record in the reservation table i'm trying to show you what the question is okay the question is when you are inserting a record something like this something like this Customer number say 101 okay the value was 8 right uh, we're gonna see that it increased to 9 now I entered a record and we see that it increased to 9 okay now it's 9 we'll do one more and we'll see it should turn to 10 so that's the question write a trigger to do something like that same customer number 101 it should become 10 see okay that is what is after insert trigger now let's run, learn how to write it so go to the table on which the trigger event happens okay the first event wherever happens on that table go go to that table click on that table name make sure that table is highlighted in this pink color in this Mac access or whatever color it is but it should be highlighted and on top click on table okay maybe you, if you click on the wrong tab on top it will not show so go and click on top table and then you will see all these table things so you'll go and select the after insert right now we already have it so we're gonna delete it and we're gonna write it again okay so we'll uh, how to delete it go to the na named macro rename or delete and we're gonna do after insert we'll delete that okay and uh, we deleted that so now nothing is there again click on the table name click on top table and then click on after insert okay so how do we write it 
we already get we get like this kind of window and we start writing it inside that window okay it's like basically it'll give you drop down things and you have to just fill in some information so once the record is inserted into the reservation table what we have to do we have to get the value of that customer number whatever got inserted and find the corresponding record in the customer table okay from reservation table get the customer number use that customer number to find the customer in the customer table so what we do is first look up a record in customer table so here you see lookup record and lookup record where in customer table okay it will show up in drop down all the tables you have and then what's the where condition here the where condition is customer dot customer number should be equal to reservation dot customer number so based, based on this where class we're gonna find the record in the customer table that needs to be incremented whose previous trip needs to be incremented so within this one itself now we're gonna with that this plus because it's inside that even once you find it what you need to do so you need to so what I did was I went to this plus, click that plus, and then it opens one more condition inside that one only, one more drop down. And now once we have found the record, what we do, we start editing the record, okay? We have to edit the record. Now editing the record will be a two-stage process. First, you have to save the existing value, okay? So it should not be set field, it should be get rid of that. It should be uh, set local variable okay first you save the existing value in a variable called as temp existing value of what existing value of customer dot previous trip once save it in the temp table once your uh, temp variable and then you can go and set the field field is customer customer dot previous trip we have to increase that by one right so we save the value in time and we increase it by one so this is all we needed to do okay this is what is our Okay, so I just deleted this and wrote it one more time and then that exclamation thing is gone okay so we save it we, we have done it so we save it and we close we already have tested it before so we'll test it again okay let's go and pick one customer number so the second one is three right we'll increase that second guy 102 we add a reservation for 102 so for 102, the 102 here already. So one eight zero zero three two. So one zero two was three, right? It becomes four now. Okay, that's how the after insert trigger works. Okay, now. The next question is let's discuss about after delete trigger okay after delete trigger is something opposite okay but one thing to note in after trigger is when a record gets deleted only then the event takes place okay so if something you have to do with the deleted record the data is already lost okay so the uh, access provides and other databases also provide a field of a temporary table or something like that you can call whatever you want but you can get the deleted data by using keyword called as old okay we'll see that in example so here the question is create the macro so that when the question is after delete event on the reservation table to subtract one of the record being deleted from customers previous trip total test the data okay so what he's saying is you have to do a delete trigger to do the exact opposite so go to the reservation when you delete one record it should 
correspondingly come to the customer table and delete uh, reduce the previous trip value from uh, one by one so right now it is 10 okay if you go and delete the one uh, for 101 say this one is for 101 right so right now the previous trip value is 10 so if we delete it it should become 9 okay so let's go ahead and delete it by I'll just click on cut to delete that so I deleted it uh, or delete one record let's delete it and let's go and check in customer what happened so it became nine see let's highlight a nine so if you delete one more it will become eight let's see that so this one is one zero one so let's delete one zero one one you you can delete by writing a delete statement okay and even in previous example you can write by insert access provides the option to write here directly also so delete this and go and check eight so if you try the same thing with one zero two customer he has four okay it will become three so one zero two customer is the record we're gonna delete it by putting by pressing cut so, yes and go see here it will become three okay so that's how the after delete trigger works now let's write it okay we already saw the demo the process is click on the table where the trigger needs to be written it's going to be written on the reservation table because the first action happens on the reservation table which is deleting of a record click on the table then click on the word table on top and then click on after delete okay now it's highlighted it means there is already already a metro there okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete that one okay. Okay. It. so now it's deleted so let's click on after delete and we can start creating one here okay so in the reservation table what are we gonna do the record has been deleted so the record is deleted we're gonna have to follow the same process find the record in the customer table which for which the previous trip value we need to reduce so how we find it same process we do the lookup record Okay, where do we look up the record? In the customer table, that's correct. And what is the condition? Condition would be customer dot customer number equal to reservation dot customer number. Okay, but the record is already deleted. If you do this, you won't get the data. Okay, so what the access tool provides is a keyword called as old. You use the word old then you can get the one which got just deleted so old was uh, the record that got just deleted will be saved in old and then old dot customer name will give you the customer name of the record in the record whatever the value was for the customer name number that will that you will get using that you can find the record in the customer table whose previous trip you have to reduce okay so this way you will find the record in the customer table what this will do is this will give you the record in the customer table once you got that so inside the gray, grayed out uh, portion only, you have to start next field. Okay, don't start in the next one because it's one uh, one operation. So that will be for the next other another trigger. So here we have to now we have to do our action. What we need to do is we need to update data, right? So what we will do here is we will select edit edit record. And how we edit record? First we'll save the existing value and then we'll decrease uh, decrease or decrement by one. So what we do is set our local variable and again we can call it local variable as stem and the expression value of that will be customer dot previous trip okay so that's the value we are saving in temp and once we have that value in the temp we will set the field field is like table table column so what field we have to set think customer dot previous trip we have to set that value to what to temp minus one okay because we are reducing by one so hit enter and we don't see any red mark anywhere so we can save it and we'll close it so this is our after delete trigger we wrote there so what we have to do is now is we have to test so we'll delete we'll try to delete the let's see who has many we'll delete that one so uh, the i think the first one itself has more eight records okay second one We'll try to delete the one with three two records here. So which what's the customer number for this person? The customer number is one zero four and previous trip is two. Okay. We'll try to delete the one with one zero four customer number in reservation table. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
okay here is one one zero four only one record anyways we'll delete that 104 okay it's 2 right now for 104 this value is 2 we expect it to become 1 okay so 104 give me the right to delete query or highlight like this and hit on cut okay we are going to delete the 104 say yes it's gone now you see 104 has become 1 okay then okay, let's try 101 which has 8 records it should become 7 so where is 101? We don't have 101. We have deleted all 101. Let's select uh, 102 only, which is 3, right? Let's see 102 if we have any. We have 102 on top. We cannot delete that. And what we expect it to become? It's 3 now, it will become 2. So let's go to reservation, highlight it, and click on cut. Say yes. And go to customer become two okay that's how the after delete after delete trigger work macro so again how do we see if it is there or not go to the table on which the macro is click on top table and you will see those are highlighted after insert is there and after delete is there you can see the definition by clicking them and you can review it okay and you can change if at all you want to change or you can write another trigger here